<laughs> Rip your son's shit face, you're drinking you, you, and then puking it back off. The singer of the band <laughs> goes, <laughs> are you safe? And I was just going, no! no! While you're shooting your shot at the tubas, shoot your shit into the tuba. I punch them, they yeah. die, because I punched them so good that they just die. And, and God knows you, you have that drunk energy. <laughs> That's not gonna get. No, nah, it's not gonna listen. get anyone to listen to anything. Nothing about this makes anyone listen but to you anything. You shouldn't be less jumping in on one ten. One ten. That's a nice number. Nice yeah. and crispy. One ten. It's not as crispy as one eleven is gonna be. One eleven is gonna be hot. Yeah, we're gonna skip it. Welcome to the Dapper Dads, the f- stupidest podcast yes, on the internet ever existed, and hey. you're listening to it. Thank you. Look at you chiming in, making a huge mistake. If you're a new listener, All if you're the, an old listener, making you, a bigger mistake. If you're an old listener, you just keep making the same. Mistakes. If you're a new listener, mistake. welcome, uh, welcome to the biggest mistake you've ever made yeah. in your life. But you will never be the same, and you'll need it every Friday. And let's just say we've never missed a Friday. Let's just say we've 110 been Fridays. In a unless row. this one is the one that doesn't Yeah, come this out is the there. one that the world oh, ends really right before then. The well, then it doesn't matter because no one knows. Eh, does anything really matter? Not if you want to boil it down that much. I mean, if we're going to we boil it. Possibly because then we'll stop doing this. True, because then I'll just shit. have to sit at home full of existential dread. Yeah, I mean, as opposed to I'll, what you normally uh, yeah, do. Well, you know what? Now that you I'm mentioned full it, of ex, ex, I'm full of extra stencil dread right now. Extra stencil. Extra stencil. Extra stencil dread. Yeah, I stenciled it's really on some stenciled t-shirts. in hard. Yeah, I was like, just you it. broke just your says, pencil tips. You so come to my house, all the old undershirts that I bought that didn't work out are just have dread written on them. You're like, you okay, bud? And so I'm like, actually, dead, better dead, than dead home. Thursday, yeah. and you're like, huh? Um, someone thought my finger tattoo said "born dead." And I was like, that would be way tighter. That would be wild. That would be so sick. Born dead, born to die. If you want to boil it down, go to www.thedapperdads.com. Yeah. Uh, there is uh, everything dapper yeah. there. That's like our big hub home for everything. Yeah. So It's if weird. You... It's like if a, if a company or a brand has a website all about themselves. It's real innovative, original. You're going to take my lucky? You uh, love taking my fucking I'd lucky. I always end up taking your lucky. Don't worry. I had to awkwardly buy two packs. You know, you know, yeah. you've seen me where I like have I'm going to do another thing and I have like say ten cigarettes, but mm-hmm. I don't feel confident that I'm only going to smoke ten, ten cigarettes. cigarettes. Yeah. So I buy a second pack. Usually, I end up smoking less than the first pack. So then I have two packs that I have to merge together. This happens to me regularly. So I just got a clusterfuck of old cigarettes. Clusterfuck of if you have a clusterfuck of old cigarettes, do an anonymous submission about it mm-hmm. or don't doesn't have to be. Go to the website. Uh, you can submit there. All you have to do is punch in an email. It doesn't have to be a real email. It does have to end. It has to have the at symbol, a word, and then dot, dot com. com. It can be it can literally be anything, anything you want. you to the show, you've heard. We get lots of fun ones. You can be anonymous. You don't have to be anonymous. No, you can tell you can us tell who us. you are. The anonymous ones are usually more fun, though. Yeah, people feel free. And again, for like the millionth time, we, we joke around a lot, but one thing we're serious about is we do not know. No, we, we seriously don't no know. no information. What we get is what you type in. So unless you put your actual name or a nickname we know you as. Or, or like your, your fucking actual email, email people address. Can, yeah, people have put in a fake name and then they're clearly real, real email. email. Um, we legitimately don't know. No. So it take, can be whatever take pride you want. in that. You can say whatever you want in there. It's a safe space. If you like, um, if you're concerned about emails, you can email us at dapperdadspodcast at gmail.com. Uh, we only take business things there, allegedly. Yeah. Uh, we're taking resumes for interns. Fall's coming up. We mm-hmm. know you're all going to be back in school. You're going to be looking for some experience. Uh, if your career field involves whatever the fuck this is, we'll take you on as an intern. We have a very... If you are going to college and you need an internship in this, we can say what... I oh, we'll, we'll, audio we'll make it I up. will fully fucking... Yeah, oh, yeah, we'll I'll do it for the you. Papers. If you're in papers. Co- like, if you're I'm listening to this you. and you're in college for like... I don't know what anything graphic are, design, audio, yeah, visual. I think yeah, anything like, audio, like that. Recording would probably be the best. Um, but yeah, we will make up branding, anything to make it seem know. like you're in an internship, if, yeah. so you if can go party. If you're in a class and you think that you can somehow spin this into an internship, we will file the paperwork. I don't know unless it's like too formal and shit. We, I mean, don't yeah, expect I mean, a lot from be... us, but we will do everything we can on our end. We will. We don't, we don't have you know certificates and shit, but I would gladly. It'll be like that episode of Seinfeld where they kept coming on each other. Or the crackers. They came on the crackers. I would say, you've been downloading a lot of, like, <laughs> off-sea torrents, I feel like. My favorite like. thing is, because right, everyone's always, like, like friends or Seinfeld. Like, people, people are Those are like, the two that people always mention. It's like that episode, so I, like, spinning it into an episode that doesn't exist. Has and people are like, I don't know if I saw that one. You mean the one where Phoebe got bukkake? 
Spin by a, the women? <laughs> by all the girls yeah. and Joey walked by in. By the guy at that works at the coffee shop. And Ross walks in and he's like, we were on a break. Yeah, Phoebe. He dated Rachel, I think. I know, yeah. but if the other girls are oh, yeah. bukkakiing her. I think they're just Is that the squirting. verb term for it? bukkake If girls are squirting on another girl's face, is that still a bukkake? I mean... I'd click on the. I'd click on. I, the I'm not saying. Yeah, of course you click on it. You always click on. I think it. it'd be like a squirt fest. All female bukkake. You're not clicking on that video. Squirt fest. I'll download that <laughs> yeah. one through thirty seven DVD yeah. series. Well, Squirts just pee. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. If yeah. you want to fight me about squirt B and P, go ahead and text Slim or call us at four zero two seven Dapper. <laughs> yeah, text Slim four zero two seven Dapper four four two seven three two seven seven three seven. Let's make it like a love line, Doctor. Uh, Dr. Drew type scenario leave us a voicemail with some sexual questions we also don't know who you are unless we like know your phone number uh, or your so. or your voice yeah your voice if too. you have a very distinctive voice well, yeah, try if you to cover do, it up let's get some sexual questions I want some questions from pe- like a serious question about your sex life or something in the past so, well cause fall's coming cuffing season's coming up yeah Cuffing. Hot girl summer's over. Big boy fall's about to begin. Yeah, thick boy fall is going to roll in with the thick leaves. Thick boy fall. I've already got one in mind. <laughs> so, uh, I'm pull up to the drive thru. Just... <laughs> yeah. He doesn't love you like with he loves a, me. With a ring that says cuff me <laughs> on it. Yeah. Get your coughing rings ready. <laughs> <laughs> a ring pop that I've carved the word cuff into. Oh, God. A ring pop that I've carved into a small penis. <laughs> a ring pop that I've carved into an accurate life size depiction of my penis. And yeah. I'm just like, hey, you want to do this? <laughs> Could you imagine if. <laughs> no sucking, just kissing. Nothing but light little kisses on the tip gonna, of my dick. It's all I, I need. Gonna say, imagine if you see me out and I'm just sucking on a ring pop and then it's a dick. But I was like, it's also crazy if I'm just out sucking on a I ring pop. I think it's crazier if I'm it's in a mall just a ring court. You're, you're just like sucking on a you, ring pop. You just look me in the eye and you have a ring pop and then you suck on it for like five minutes and pops out perfectly. Looks like my dick. I'm like, wow. Or like the this is more pops. impressive than tying a cherry stem with your tongue. Yeah. <laughs> is the underside of a man's penis like you know that little bit at the head there where it yeah, meets we the just base? Talked about. Is this. that the boy clit? Uh, I feel I just, like it's the boy clit. I mean, I don't think if I was just to be pleasured on that small grouping of. Skin, I mean, I don't want to be pleasured on do. just that part, but like that part especially, though, right? I don't know if I. Sometimes I feel like I don't I don't have enough feeling in my penis. I is that can we everybody? talk about this? Yeah, is that yeah let's talk about this cuz I sometimes cuz like I honest to god and I mean this sincerely and I'm only saying it because I have a radio show where I blast out my entire life. Sometimes I'm getting things done to my dick and I I don't feel it as much. Like yeah. I feel like I should be feeling like it more. Like a tongue ring. That's what I always heard. I feel it's like, yeah. You get a girl with a tongue ring and they have fun tongue rings with things on them. Like just nails and shit. And I'm always like, I've had some tongue rings in my day, and I don't feel like I'm feeling the tongue ring. You know what I mean? Right. Maybe yeah. if I'm like really paying attention and looking. For well, it. I mean, there's always there's that old joke out there that tongue rings are because there's nothing like the feel of cold steel on a hot rod. Yeah. But it's like the steel doesn't get cold in your mouth. No, it's it the should. same temperature your as mouth your should mouth. Not be that cold. No, his I'm mouth like, should not be that cold. But Whatever. what? Okay. Whoever's but what mouth. if a girl's sucking your dick and she's got Hate the it. ice cube? <laughs> yeah. First of all, gross. <laughs> G- girls are actually it's sucking out dicks here. out here. I don't. Embarrassing. It. Yeah. Second of all, we only use that as. <laughs> yeah, I use it as a j- I use it as a joke. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. I yell at the McDonald's worker because I got two chicken nuggets that were way too like you know what I mean. Not that the piece proper shape. That piece of ch- chicken that's just chewy. You bite it. Yeah, and it's because Taco Bell was closed. Uh, and why was Taco Bell? Why closed? was Taco it's Bell closed? Twelve thirty a.m. What Taco Bell were you at? The one by my house, but it was a holiday. Okay, I guess. yeah, that, that I that's probably it. <laughs> I don't know if I had on. to, guess. I wasn't driving from place to place. No, course. that drive home last weekend was wild. For mm-hmm. just on the drive back, I was soaking, I soaking wet, and we were all screaming <laughs> self control. Shit face. I was <laughs> shit faced. It was unbelievable. Thank you big for that. Th- by yeah, the way. big dad tip. Hold on, real quick. <laughs> Follow us on Twitter at Dapper Dads, and then follow us on Instagram at Dapper Dads Podcast www.patreon.com slash dapper dads we just cut a, a juicy raunchy one. juicy There's some one gross things going on over there five bucks a month to get all these episodes we've say it every week it's out there baby it's the money we do things we get them leave us five star reviews anyway if you're strapped for cash here's a, a, a real legitimate dad, dad a legitimate tip. dad tip so we were out and about and uh yeah slim was strapped for cash i found five of the little tiny liquor bottles the the mini bar and, bottles. and, and, and let me just line this up 
We had two bottles of Dr. McGillicuddy's apple pie, mm-hmm. two Skull vodkas, yes. and a JMO. I the only one I purchased was JMO. The rest were gifted to me. <laughs> Believe it or not, I was gifted two skulls. Um, Who hates you that much? They're from Matt. They're in my stocking yeah. for Christmas. It was. I think there were other ones too that I did drink. Um, but I think I also hate the the narrative that Skull is bad. You know what I, it's skull, not yeah, bad. It it's just be. it shouldn't be drunk warm after it's been in your pocket for four hours. Well, and they've just been on my shelf for. If they were ice months. cold little bottles, they would have been fine. Well, yeah. See, I take that. If I have a shot of skull, I'd go to the bar, get like a lemonade, dump most of it out, no. and then put the skull in there. Yeah. I would not do. I'm too old to be publicly doing shots of skull. Which is exactly what I did, folks. Uh, yeah. So run it down. Yeah. So we'd been there so, for a while. Yeah. So I got to. Uh, so we we'd been drinking all day at this point. Yeah. Uh, also. Start start off the day a couple couple rounds of beer. I'd say couple rounds of beer darts yeah, liberally. Lo- loose. Loosely. Loose uh, beer darts. A couple beers when we got there. Went back like, for more beer darts. Yeah. We, po- we yeah we popped back and forth. Had had. A fair amount of beers. It, it was a day, it was a day of drinking. Yeah. Essentially, is what it was. And so I was getting close to the nighttime, and uh, we were seeing uh, we were seeing some music, and uh, yeah, not not something polite. we yeah not something not something that we l- go to something we happen to be at a uh, uh, cover band a good cover band not a bad really, cover band they, yeah quite a show they did a. Uh, a dis- uh, I don't even know what to say. A disputed thirty-minute section of just Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson songs, which, which we was, all found w- was in poor taste. But the man had the glove and the jacket and, the jacket, and everything. And he had the so dance think, moves down. I so feel like, like they had to have a conversation much. where they're like, "We got to stop. It's blowing up again." There's the documentary now. We got to cut the Michael Jackson. He's like, "I got the fucking jacket and the glove. I spent all this fucking money out. for authentic <laughs> replications of this exact outfit. I took this off of his corpse. I fucked a kid in this costume. <laughs> we have to do it." They're like, whoa, we cannot let this get out. <laughs> yeah. Thank God we are a local cover band. Um, but so, yeah. so there was uh, the <laughs> the questionable police presence walking around. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, they immediately shut you. Well, too, yeah, six foot eight guy dancing around with a beer in his hand already shit face. Yeah, I would have shut me down immediately, too, if I was a cop. But they should know that they also can't stop um, you. Yeah, that's the thing. Well, tasers will stop me in a heart. <laughs> lit- not even, no pun intended, but a literal heartbeat. Uh, yeah, watch that face make her pop. Kaboom, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, but look at this. <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's your lifeless body lays on the street, convulsing in the rain. <laughs> no, it's more. Out. Yeah, with no, the rain, I'm it's dead. already. Out. I'm already. I'm dead. Um, <laughs> Wet taser pacemaker. pacemaker. That's the trifecta the of things that kill me. If I die at what we were at, I'm gonna <laughs> haunt everyone, and I'm gonna be so pissed in hell for the rest of eternity. Uh but so there was like a little beer garden area where you right. had to drink, but you could casually kind of go out on the sidewalk yeah, with your pretty, beer if I you think were it's making just a scene. A, it's a legality thing um, because, yeah, at other times they do it. And it's a fucking when I went back the second night, I was just I walked well, into 40, I walked into the grounds with a beer in my I came 40, off of a golf cart with a beer in my hand. 45 minutes after that, I walked back out there yeah. with a drink in my hand and it was fine. Yeah, the, it's it's very weird. You were targeted. But of course we were. We're always targeted <laughs> yeah, everywhere you we go. Everyone. I scare everyone Especially, everywhere I go. Apparently we we made a scene later on apparently. Did we? A huge scene. Did we? <laughs> yeah. Doing what? <laughs> you don't remember? We'll get into it, but yeah, this is, explain how yeah, you. I don't. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll get into it. <laughs> So yeah, you um, started. So I started with the shots in my pocket, and I was there wasn't any like mixers available, right. so I was just doing the straight shots out of yeah. the pocket. You were just popping the top <laughs> off, putting it in your mouth, tipping your head back, and taking it. It was very beautiful. Was to it see. impressive to say? It the was least? impressive, especially after I said keep it low key, and then instead you make it a entire <laughs> show, <laughs> which is what I'm prone to do. Yeah, That's one of my mo's. Sense. Uh, started with the McGillicuddy's. Th- th- those went down easy. Yeah, like of for liquor, they went for warm li- pocket liquor. They went yeah, down very especially easy. Apple pie. Yeah. Uh, so I did the two McGillicuddy's, yeah, and that it, was your problem. I should have saved them for the end after the skull. I think you should have done, done a. I think you sh- if it was me, I would have done skull JMO skull apple apple. That's what I should have done. I would have started with the apple. Because if you start with a skull, you might not be able to do any of them. Because that because like. that first skull almost yeah, got me. I thought you were done. Yeah, I would have went. Apple pie, skull, skull, and then apple or JMO, because JMO's fine with me, and I might not get through it if I have to do them back to back. Boss move would have been skull. Boss move would have been five of them <laughs> at once, and then just throw it back like a 
fucking nightmare. What would you have done? <laughs> I would have finally respected you. Damn it. But I should course, have done it. Of course. Uh, Instead, you do two apples and then a, a skull that you seemed unsure about, but too confident, I'd say. Yeah. And then the, you, the apple made me confident. Yeah, and then and, you, all, and probably the I'm gonna rough guess eighteen natter days throughout the day probably <laughs> probably gave me the confidence. and then yeah that skull the the the, the middle the first, the first skull, skull almost got me I started getting the spits and I started feeling yeah, like you were leaning thing. towards the garbage can and no I was gonna puke in the street <laughs> oh. yeah just leaning for a show yeah <laughs> oh, oh, oh. no just kidding <laughs> that was my body language showing I told you I, if you're gonna do it do it big yeah and that's what we say I was gonna do it big but. I choked it down, and then I did the other skull. Yeah, that's what was No, crazy. I dumped the fourth skull into my natter day, and then mm. I finished that. I think and that I was my natter, natter day, because you did the first skull, and you said, I need your beer. <laughs> and I thought you were going to try to puke into it. <laughs> How impressive. Was... <laughs> I wanted to, just... I've wanted to do that for years. Puke in, uh, I think specifically a bottle. The bottle my would be, I could do the that, and but just... I don't think I could do Whoa. a can. Because with a can, it shoots out of my mouth and breaks on the street. There's puke everywhere. Because what I'm thinking with a can is like you gotta, you know, like really get no, your mouth you could, over. I the, think you could just um, pop your um, upper um, mouth over, but you got to keep an air pocket. I was gonna That's say unless thing. you want to seal your mouth around the whole can. Just, <laughs> just yeah. your you got to keep up. an air pocket. You don't want puke to sneak out, but you need. There's gonna be too much there's pressure. There's gonna be too much pressure. It. Yeah. I also want to do it in a pint glass. That I want to the put pint my lips glass would into be doable. perfectly yeah. and just... The bigger the... I feel like I could puke into a Boone's Farm bottle. Like a big bottle of wine. That's such a narrow top, though. I know, but just really <laughs> yeah, it would be funny, in. though. Like, it depends on watch. the consistency of the vomit, I think. Yeah, if the it's just mostly liquor and it's just water, it's fine. If it's food, if any with a, the liquor. an empty pint glass, if you... <laughs> and I put it up to my mouth so you can see on the bottom and I just, just puke <laughs> into it. <laughs> Just instantly fall. Set it down and be like, I'll have, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Boo! 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 That movie sucks. Get the fuck out of here. That guy just puke in a full glass. No, it was empty. It's full now. Oh, idiot. Did anybody want it? And I chug idiot. it. I'm a half glass full kind of guy. And then you drink the whole thing in front of everyone. Puke That's when I would respect you. When you're just, if you're so shit faced, you're drinking puke, you and then puking it back up. <laughs> and then uh, drinking it again. But then it's I did. the cycle. And then I had the JMO in my pocket, yeah. and I was instructed by Kurt. On the I, w- I did, and then I was instructed. Which is the only glass bottle. <laughs> I know. And Kurt instructed me that he would let me know when it was time for the JMO, and I trust him in this Which situation. Which that's a fucking problem. If peop- if I- any of us drunks are telling you when to continue drinking, you've been temporarily cut off. Yeah. And advised when to do that. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely insane. Yeah, but no. So I did the JMO, and I got absolutely shit faced. I got drunk. Drunker than I've been in since the cabin. I don't even think I was that drunk at the cabin. Yeah, I, I want to say, very like, drunk. I was so. Uh, here's what. I, let's go through what I remember, and then let's go through what you remember, and then let's go through what actually happened. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll I will need several third parties yeah. for that last uh, one. I I remember getting up and dancing uh-huh. a lot. Mm-hmm. I was dancing a lot. I remember getting you up on my shoulders. That was all the scene. That that was that really a scene that we made. Apparently, though? it was a big deal. Why? Uh, I don't know. Who but said it was a big deal? Everyone. People that work for that. Like, people came up. Apparently, people rushed up because it was so poorly executed. The pictures were beautiful. Well, yeah, continue, and then I'll say from okay. my perspective and your uh, drunk ass. My drunk ass, indeed. Uh, we. It was raining a lot. Yeah. I was really wet. I was dancing in the rain. I felt really free. I felt really liberated. <laughs> Uh, we're walking back to the car to go home, and all I kept thinking was, oh, my God, I can't see in front of me because I was so drunk that everything was like. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, like, trying to follow people in the dark, and it's not working. And then we got – I sat in the front at first, and then I moved to the back after a scolding. <laughs> and then <laughs> – You're in my car and in my seat. Yeah. Yeah, you got behind the wheel, started doing donuts. <laughs> Burning out. In the out, grapple. I'm like, light yo. Light that's sick. That's Keep sick. going. Let me hop Tear on the Tear up bag. the softball field. You got it. Drive I through the it. fence. <laughs> Not like that. Not with my car. If you're going to drive like that. Use your car to drive through the fence and then use mine to go out on the field. That reminded me real quick of a funny story. A friend of mine. I'm no longer friends with him. <laughs> Bring that bitch back. Yeah. And someone we know that I won't incriminate uh, was driving the car because my buddy used to get We'd all get super drunk. He's driven us somewhere. Then when he walked to the car, he throws you the keys. Oh. Like, 
regardless like, no. i had a concussion one time and he threw me the keys and, and i was like i can't and then he'd be mad if he, he's like who's gonna drive like, you drove us you here idiot. at least say it earlier in the night so someone took the responsibility of it and you know in some wisconsin cities there'll be two lanes of traffic and then while you're driving it just turns into parking and like have you ever seen this yeah and so whoever was driving sideswiped the car and my buddy whose car goes whose car it was goes well, if you're going to drive like that, I guess I just <laughs> So anytime I picture someone recklessly driving someone else's car, just the term, well, if you're going to, after you sideswipe a car, if you're going to drive, drive like, like that, that, I'll, I'll just drive. drive. Uh, well, okay, what's better, that sideswipe or the evening where two mirrors got sideswiped off the car? I, I don't know which one. What, what do you mean by better? More entertaining or less We liability? were in a car. <laughs> I got to figure out how to word all of this. <laughs> yeah. We were in a car uh-huh. and we were leaving somewhere. Uh-huh. And allegedly. Allegedly. We weren't driving. No. <laughs> but the person who was had their left mirror clipped off and my window was down. No, first it was it was the right mirror. Yeah, because you were the passenger. No, it was the it was the left mirror first. No, it was the left mirror second. No, it I was, watched it happen. But I thought the one that happened no, later was were, on the highway yeah. and it took the driver's side mirror off yeah the left mirror i swear it was the other way around <laughs> no you even God. Just said no because i watched it happen and because i watched the whole thing happen it's one of those times where you're like i should say something but they probably got it and then they didn't and i watched it was one of those moments in my life where i watched the whole thing and i thought this might happen and then it happened and it was way crazy. <laughs> did crazier. you do it with your brain again i don't think so i just don't want to take responsibility for i get that. that yeah but it was way crazier than you'd imagine a mirror blowing yeah, off the they car. Both the they both were. They both sounded like, like somebody like, shot the, the, the first car. One. <laughs> like, I was did. like, I was so drunk. I was like, oh my God. Because <laughs> the first one just fell down and was still attached. The second <laughs> the one second. was pieces. Just pieces. Yeah. I still can't listen it to that Bootsu yeah. song. Because I think about that. <laughs> oh my God, mirror. that's right. <laughs> well, yeah, because the first one made sense because it was, again, it's in Chicago. It's, it's a very it's narrow a one, way. Yeah, it's, it's not a one way it's a two way and there's cars parked on both sides and it gets to a point where there's at 3 a.m there's so many cars and you're like i can't even get over and i remember thinking like this is a narrow road and then it was just like boom and i'm like oh fuck and then yeah you made us go to white castle out in the middle of nowhere completely because you're the king of oh this is only three miles away and three miles like if we're here yeah yeah three, three chicago miles, miles is very can be different. anything i know it this can now be like a different now we're in evanston <laughs> so yeah and then the second one was on the highway and that bitch just it exploded, exploded. I re- felt like it was like dynamite in the yeah car. yeah it's like somebody put a m80 inside the side mirror yeah. and just lit it at a very pristine moment right <sighs> Yeah, so I don't know which one's better between. I don't know what you mean by better between. Which the one was more rememberable? I mean, I remember both of them vividly. I guess probably the mirror exploding, just because again, yeah. even if you're like, yeah, you're going seventy down a highway and you clip a mirror, what will happen? I would say it would just break and fall no, off like ex- the first one. Explodes. And instead, yeah, it was just like. <laughs> So what I remember from uh, this this past weekend night was, yeah, everything everything you said, some dancing. Do you remember smacking my beer out of my hand so far? And no, I, no. And I had the da- we had the Dapper Dad's koozies representing the brand. And that's the best way to represent the brand is to be drinking an Adderday and have your giant friend smack <laughs> it out of your hand into a crowd Was this when people. we were dancing? Yeah. I don't know what. I, like, think I was going to take a drink, which was the most depressing part. And you just, like, backhanded it. And it flew into, like, six people stand in there so then i just you know what i do i just, <laughs> just ignore it and pretend like i didn't nap. see it happen and then i'm like i'll whatever we lose one koozie i yeah. probably lost a hundred we've mailed a million yeah so uh yeah free koozies and stickers if you don't have one already we'll be glad to send you some out the koozies are running low because we just throw them in the street apparently so yeah you fucking just backhand this bit, and then i ignore that. it and then eventually like kurt goes up picks it takes the can out throws the can on the ground and hands me the koozie and i was like thank you so which was nice but then i was like now everybody thinks i because it looked like i just threw a beer yeah and you know how i love to throw, throw beer beers sometimes um so yeah that was the main thing i remember and then yeah getting on your shoulders which we had joked of course slim is 60 feet tall i'm of a surprising height apparently when, when you meet people me in meet person. us yeah um so we had joked earlier on in the night that it would be funny for me to get up on your shoulders because it would just be wacky. It's funny. It would be just, just be cool funny. funny. 
And then I'd kind of forgotten about it, and I didn't think it would happen. And then at one point, you just do a big squat and like turn back at me and like, <laughs> gave you the eyes, give, give me the old "come here, boy." And I initially turned it down because I was like, "No, it's raining. They we're dr- we're so drunk, <laughs> so drunk. This is gonna be a bad idea." And then I, then you gave me like the puppy dog eyes, and then I looked at Kurt, and he was also looking at me, and I was like, "What's the worst that can happen?" <laughs> so, Which is traditionally what happens right before the worst thing yeah, happens you know. with us. So I do it. And I kind of like I could not get up onto your shoulders, and we'll post a picture because I'm like even hanging off because I get a little bit up there, and then you just start standing up, and I was not secured at all. I thought and people you were. started going no. I don't think you remember this. People no. were screaming and rushing to catch me. I felt like my ass was out, like my boxers yeah. were up, but my whole ass. No, was No, I don't recall. I and just then, remember the journey. Song. And then you kind of like came. Oh yeah, that is what it was. And then you came back down, and I thought maybe we were done. And then you, like, tried to <laughs> muster my leg on your shoulder. And then we went back up even harder. And, yeah, I'm hanging to where I pulled something in my leg very badly while it was happening. And I'm hanging. Kurt's taking a picture. The singer of the band yeah, goes, man. are you safe? And I was just going, <laughs> no. no. Which apparently everyone else was just going, no. no. Yeah, and I, I heard about this to great lengths the following day when I went back. When I went back sober and, like, quiet and, you know, yeah. turned down because I had a long night and people were like, heard you got a little rowdy last night. And I was like, how? And they're like, on that big man's shoulders. And I was like, oh, yeah. And they were like, why? And I was like, eh, I don't know. Why we do, just thought of why it. Why do we do anything? Yeah, do? I mean, yeah, I don't want to be questioned. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, and I was told I was told before I even showed up that it might be, like, a bigger problem. Like, someone might scold me. So then I had that anxiety all day. Why would they scold like, you for that? I don't know. Because that's what I was like. If that doesn't I, make any sense. If like, I nobody, no, bust no. my head open, I'm not going to sue anybody. Oh, right. You can't got, sue anyone. I did the anyone. stupidest thing. Right. That like, could happen. At, just doing a bad That could happen at any gonna, concert, yeah, too. Yeah. I would like, never. Yeah. I, I did it. <laughs> like, you, I, don't even, I don't even think I have ground What would have happened on. if I showed up for the second day is I would have gotten the scolding because yeah. I was the one who put you on the shoulders. How dare you take our sweet drama and get him <laughs> yeah. drunk on yeah. alcohol like and then let him do this? And then I think it was a problem. This is not his character. And I think it was, yeah, yeah. I You're think, a bad I think influence. that was the thing is people were like, well, he's normally just quiet drunk. And now he's on a big man's shoulders, shoulders drunk and throwing beers and yelling to bad cops. I could understand getting scolded about the beer thing. Well, that, Which yeah. I would then take full credit for knowing my actions. Yeah, that now. I would that I didn't even think of because I would have just been like, that was just a wild gesturing, having a good time. Which that was my, you know, when you have fake arguments in your head, yeah. like, okay, so someone's going to scold me day. for getting on the shoulders. I'm not going to back down from this. What is I'm even, be what is even the scolding it? for this? Yeah, I would be a dick about it because it's like, what is the scolding for that exactly? I think I think as from someone working for the the festival the venue that it was just unsafe and then the the man in the uh the American flag attire with the little shorts and the uh whatever who was fuck, just humping that guy <laughs> that guy is super weird yeah but then he started putting that one girl on his shoulders uh-huh. and I think it's because it's raining and they're drunk and they think people are gonna fall and I think I assume they think people will sue because people do but yeah. I was like. Yeah, my initial response was going to be like, well, you shouldn't have had such an entertaining band, then, yeah, I guess. Yeah, you shouldn't have and had... And I was just going to, like, triple down. Because, you know, when I, like, oh, yeah. get petty about things... I oh, I would have gotten so petty, like... it would have been like, shouldn't have been providing alcohol so freely to people yeah. that were so very clearly drunk. Yeah, you shouldn't let... No one's getting patted down. That guy had five little <laughs> shots. That guy's a real piece I can't even go back next year after <laughs> yeah. you rat me whoa, out. Whoa, There's whoa. just big posters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, of my... Fi- of, it's just a picture of me holding you That's on. why you can't commit as many crimes as i the say this to people guys. constantly yeah. i can't commit a serious You're crime because so, there was gonna, one guy that was as tall as you there though. there was but where are you gonna find five guys charming. that lo- of course he wasn't <laughs> thank you he didn't put me up on his shoulders yeah he, i tried to get up on his he, he said, didn't bend away. down he didn't bend down in front of you and give you the puppy dog eyes <laughs> but yeah there's a there's a funny photo it was worth it, it, it was i so didn't worth it it was a, a lot of times time. we do shit and i wake up and i feel stupid and bad that's like i, my I don't feel stupid and bad about no that. i don't at all because i've done was, things with you that's what i mean like, i was told the next morning that it was that people seemed very upset and scared which is yes it was scary <laughs> that's what i love is that we and can't that people, go somewhere normal and have a good time without people being scared and upset i mean it is what it is at least it was in that's a story for someone to tell yeah like, that, it got so crazy on there this, this fucking freakish man put a yeah. little, little drunk man on his shoulder another man took a picture everybody because apparently people had to rush up and grab me and catch me were a lot of people and grabbing then, you 
I was told there was one man behind me that was because I seem to, to like, remember like putting you down up. and looking around and I'm like, oh, there's not a lot of people hanging out in the rain. Like I just felt like, no, yeah, you know. I, think they, I think you were just drunk. There was a lot of people, but it was very drunk. Yeah. But that's my, I don't get like hangovers. I've said it before. They are starting to creep up. I've been getting a lot of headaches that I, I don't know I'm, what I'm waking up very hangovers are. I wouldn't ca- cause like I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't call it like the traditional hangover. You know, I'm not like laying in bed with an ice pack and yeah, I need I've sunglasses never, and stuff. I, I'm not like that. <laughs> sunglasses in bed. You should be dead. <laughs> who even gets the sunglasses oh these are my hangover sun i want to get that drunk where i have to have sunglasses put on me in bed yeah. and the, the next morning not the night of yeah. i've had sunglasses put on me the night of and you because i'm up like it's them. so bright in here yeah like, just put his sunglasses or a pillow over his face no the pillow might kill him all right two pillows all right then. a t-shirt wrapped yeah. really tightly around his neck but yeah i feel like people get like feel sick I feel sick occasionally. This was I did. I don't want to say I felt sick, but I didn't feel well. You know, yeah. I could tell I was. I, I wasn't feel, at a hundred percent. I wake you know? up and I feel incredible, uh-huh. like outrageous. The best I feel is like after a long night of drinking, too little of sleep, and I'll wake up feeling like a million bucks. I get that. Yeah, and then give me five hours, and it just and I'm dead. smacks me yeah. really hard. But I still don't feel sick. But yeah, I've been getting light headaches, but it's not anything like I would really stress yeah, about. I d- I you didn't, know what I mean? Yeah, like, I, like I said, like, I didn't have a headache. I didn't feel nauseous or anything. I, feel I like just so didn't many feel people well. people also are like, oh, I can't believe I don't feel good from all the drinking. I, like while I'm drinking, I'm like, might not feel good tomorrow, but I know what I'm doing. Like I don't yeah. wake up like, who did this to me? <laughs> right. Who did this? Why would someone let this happen? I wake up and I'm like, uh, 23 beers. Yeah, that God, you yeah, stressed out, out when you said I made a scene. I was worried I did something I completely forgot I mean, about. We I haven't, like, yeah, they haven't checked all the cameras and run all the numbers. Yet. But, um, They'll get back to us. Dapper Dad's official bandment 2019. We just get an, a video file, an MKV file in the for, email. I'm waiting for a video file. Of us? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I don't get hungover. It's starting to creep up because I've just turned 42. So I think that's when it starts starting to hit to people. But I do wake up and feel cringy or bad, depending on what I did. I yeah. think a lot about conversations I've had and things I've said. And I'm like, ugh, wish I wouldn't have been so animated about that right or something yeah or yeah i wake up which yeah this wasn't the case but other things we've done where i'm like wake up like the cake in the guy's hand i wake up and i'm like why did i do that but then i'm like it was funny and and i didn't face any repercussions so i'll never stop doing it right exactly but yeah i always have like that that like tinge of like oh that was stupid or like the yeah the minneapolis thing was like the big one where you wake up yeah i woke up the next jail yeah i woke up the next day and i was like Actually, yeah, every time we've been to Minneapolis, I've yeah, woken I mean, up at least once and been like, oh, we fucked up. Yeah, it happens. Because, yeah, I've done, like, other shit, too. Like, put shit in the street or, like, like broken thrown shit, things or bro- just shit. something stupid when like, you're drunk a, like that. Yeah, there's, know? like, three specific This is the things. unglamorous side, kids. Yeah. Everybody wants to it's glamorize fun, our right? lifestyle, but nobody wants to talk about the horrible overthinking that comes when you're sober. <laughs> Yeah, I've done some things. I did one thing a couple of years ago that I still think about. I want to put money in someone's mailbox because I did something. It's Is not this crazy what I'm thinking bad. Because I, I, I remember you telling you. me about. But yeah, me and an accomp- a little accomplice did something that in the moment. And we didn't. You ever just like do shit with someone? You don't even look or say anything. Was You're both the... just going towards something. No, that was Taco Bell where they had the sod. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll talk about that. <laughs> that I never felt bad about. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the funniest moments. I have that video where I'm covered in mud, and I'm. Oh, I want. I wonder if we'll be able to put it up. I can at least put a screenshot up. It's a selfie video of me on Snapchat because we went to the Taco Bell after Prop Outdoors four, and uh, there's a guy sleeping against the wall upright, like a guy who's just shit faced, like mm-hmm. sleeping up against the wall. So I take this video selfie and i'm like making fun of the guy and it's me and curd and we're laughing and he's saying drunk shit and i'm like waiting for my food and then i wake up to so many messages and they're like why are you covered in mud and i was like no it's about the guy behind me and they're like your hands are are so muddy and then i look and i'm like oh yeah and i was like why did that and then yeah me and curd allegedly found there's just such nice sod. Nice and then sod. he was like, look at this. And then he grabbed it and it just pulled it up. And he goes, oh, my God. And so I just grabbed a huge strip. And I was like, woo. And then when we left, that's the best part is we did it. We went inside, got our food. So outside. you were covered mud when you went in. Oh, yeah. My hands, like I said, I'll, I'll screenshot the video because I don't think I can post the video very well. But I have it on my phone because I like to watch it sometimes. It's very funny to me. And, yeah, I have mud all, all over my hands. 
And then we go outside and we take a bunch of sod and throw it in the street. So we weren't even done. No. We had to get food. We had to get nourishment to throw more sod in the street. You had to get your that energy one was back never, up. I don't think I woke up feeling bad about that one. That one was just funny. Because it's fucking Taco Bell. You know what I mean? I still have. I'm like an anarchist where I'm like, Oh, Fuck these. I know where you want to leave the money in the mailbox. Yeah. I the, think I told you. Let's the, not allude to anything uh, here. The, but, but the... That's like super eluding if you're watching the video. But yes, yeah, Fine, that's exactly a, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's exactly. You don't have to pull up anything. You I'm know what I'm talking you. about, that, though. Yeah, okay, you yeah. made it so fair. Don't watch the video this time. I'm gonna have to censor that out. It's me grabbing all those little dicks. It's you when you ran into that orchestra oh, that yeah. was playing. I beat the shit out of that maestro. Beat the shit out of the maestro. <laughs> shit in the tuba. Groped the flautist. No, allegedly his dick. We're was fighting not, that. Yeah. That Lawyer fast. dog's trying to beat the case. He's trying to beat it I like would, Tina. I would love to shoot a, a shoot a tuba. <laughs> I was gonna, I meant to say shit in Where's a tuba, it? but I guess I want to shoot a tuba. Can you shoot a tuba? Or I, will it bounce back out? What kind of heavenly noise will what, it make? What are we shooting out of a tuba? <laughs> no, I mean I'm like pulling up oh, with the chopper and, and just, just letting it, rip. it still makes a tuba noise like yeah. and then it shoots me back out of the mouth hole. It's got a bigger gun than you. <laughs> yeah, it just produces a huge, it just shoots a rocket out. I'm like, oh, you're not supposed to shoot tubas. tubas turns out. We just don't talk we about it. We just don't understand. Because everyone who shoots a tuba gets killed by a rocket. <laughs> yeah. We just don't understand. Big conspiracy how time on the work. Dapper Dads. Yeah, we don't don't pull up to a play with us. If you're a tuba. I got that thing on me and I'm gonna kill that fucking tuba because it killed my grandpa. If you're a tubist, get at us. Is that what you call someone who plays a tuba? A tubist? No, I think you call him a dork. <laughs> I'd like to shit in the tuba too, but I will also shoot it if I have to. Shit the sh- shoot your shit in the tuba. Shoot your shot at the tuba. Shoot your shoot your shot. While what you're shooting it? your shot at the tubas, shoot your shit into the tuba. I don't think they're gonna take you home. You don't. Hey, know I was that. just wondering what you were doing after you. But what you're if pretty good at? Well, I'm but what if the tuba. tubas likes having little bits of boy shit in their mouth? I mean, I'm not a boy. <laughs> you know what? Not I yet mean. a man. <laughs> yeah, fine. A little not bit quite of a woman at 42. A little bit of preteen <laughs> shit in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Yeah. Yes, w- you. I have couldn't be. Then who? <laughs> Go to www.patreon.com slash Dapper Dads to find out what Slim's alluding to. It's nasty. That's what I love. I love throwing in little things in the main show yeah, to be like, gotta, go get the good shit. You got to get the, yeah. You don't want to be left out. Have you ever been not included on an inside joke and everyone's laughing and you're just like, ah, yeah, I totally. Yeah, totally. You know That's all. Talking about. I remember when I was there and we shit in that tuba. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, and everyone's just everything's like, the question. Slowly realizing yeah. you weren't there shitting we in the tube. Shit in the tube, but we all made out with the, the music. The music starts slowly turning down at the party. Yeah. Everyone's just casually hey, looking at this you. This guy's a liar. Hey, this guy did. No, I thought we were referencing that movie. What movie? I'll have what she's having. Boo! 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 Oh, yeah! <laughs> life goes on. <laughs> 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 so, uh, Dixon comes, right? <laughs> Yeah, everybody remix the intro music. If you need the file, I'll just send it. Yeah, to we can you. send but you. You can't our theme start song. a opposing podcast with our theme music. That's if the I found out someone stealing about. our theme music, we're pulling up with a tubist and a flautist. Yeah, the someone... diaper dads get out of no, here. No, that that one's wrong. That one's so bad. The uh, disheveled dads. The dicker dudes. <laughs> What's that podcast about? Dicker dudes. <laughs> dicker dudes. Guys just dicking around. Oh, so, so it's this, us. yeah. Oh, they do Are we the Dicker job? Dudes? Is we're... the Dicker Dudes our Fight Club podcast where we have a distinctive yet very separate personality and we have insomnia? And so this podcast, we're like, we could be, we should Spoilers. be. Spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen <laughs> Fight Club in 2019. I've heard a lot about it. Yeah, I totally God watched it. Damn it. I remember the, the first rule of Fight Club is I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> Just throw your drink. It's fine. It's all syrup and poison. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Well, leave it or not. Sorry, our little boy poisoned you. I mean, eventually a little boy is going to poison me. I just always thought it'd be my own son. Yeah, you, the Ottomans working on it. It's just really hard to go Ottoman to the store. And bu- yeah, it's hard to go to the store and buy anything when you're that guy. No, if I was a small, the money's all small wet. Deformed. We don't take boob sweat money. If I was a small deformed Ottoman, I would climb on that bottom part of that cart. Simple enough. And then when the people aren't looking, 
You throw whatever you need in the cart, and when you go out to the car, you bite their ankles. Oh, <laughs> you get everything the that they bought. You mean they don't notice the disgusting wet ottoman in the cart underneath How them the whole time? How often do you time? check the bottom of your cart? Every time I go to check out. Weird. I like to forget I have, well, I don't drink pop anymore, but I used to always forget I had pop down there. And then you just get free pop. Yeah, people like you were the system. reason they installed mirrors on the other side of the checkout so the cashiers can look Bob under the and cart. Lisa. Yeah, Bob and Lisa. Yeah, Bob. Oh, I pushed that out. Oh. About bottom of the basket. Get Lisa. Look inside. Ever, look in, anything uh, look it, inside any and anything it, i it think that's what be. it's supposed to be but it's supposed <laughs> to be look inside everything <laughs> yeah, you mean leasy leasy um yeah that's a little <laughs> inside knowledge for you guys if you haven't worked retail <laughs> yeah remind me to tell you something about that we very specific that acronym the time. <laughs> i know and i want to remember this one because it's so insane i have a feeling i know what it might allude to <laughs> yeah you should um <laughs> But yeah, I forgot where we were with this. I always forget where we <laughs> are with everything. Shitting in a tuba, I think. Um, F- fucking a tubist. Bad. Yeah, fucking a tubist. Two bits and a two. <laughs> Is this two it? And a bit. Have we lost our minds? <laughs> Mine's been gone yeah, since episode no. seventy-one. Yeah, since episode seven. The best allegedly. episode. We all remember seventy-one. Seventy-one was traditionally episode. the best. No one ever talks about it enough. But no. if I had to pick, no one, one ever talks about this show enough. Show us to your friends. Yeah. At least for the love of God, God. this is just getting weird. It's yeah. just the same seven people. Yeah, just telling us things all the time and how much they love us and they want to. They wish yeah. we were a tubist and an orchestra. Yeah, yeah, they love to reference Except things that, that we don't remember. <laughs> yeah, and we're like, that would be weird. I don't. I've never That's even the played best. a remember woodwind. Remember when you talked about this? No, I don't. <laughs> You'll yeah, have to help we talk about that a lot. Dads? Yeah, if you come up and talk to us about how we talk about not remembering what we've talked about, then we'll have a conversation. Yeah. But I'll be very confused. As soon as you can get very meta with us about the podcast, we'll decide yeah. to talk with you about it more. Come up to me and ask the most uh, in-depth questions about the equipment we use to the point where I don't know how in-depth we want to get. So then I get very in-depth and then you don't follow. And come I'm up like, to Why me. are we having this conversation? C- come up to me with nothing but technical questions so I can pass you off to the guy that does all the technical yeah, stuff. Yeah, come up to me with nothing but questions about the flashlight. <laughs> and we'll, yeah, come up we'll to me with be like, come up to me about the <laughs> finessities of a flashlight and I'll sit there and talk your ear off all evening. That's I no would, problem. Yeah, I think you should field all of the technical questions. I would love yeah. to just see what the... F- how the fuck you think this works? I'm pretty sure you think it's so, just... We say things uh, and it just uploads to the internet. We did, That's not how it works. It's. I mean, you're not wrong, I but mean, you're missing... I mean, that's the wheelhouse You're missing the guts. You got the body, but you've disemboweled it. Oh, if I had to guess, okay. there's, uh, mm-hmm. there's a bunch of little men that live in your laptop. And that's too little. They, they're very little. And they go through and... Can you ask them why it keeps dropping my fucking internet connection? Uh, It's your computer. I feel like you need to ask. <laughs> they don't talk to me. They don't talk to I've me. Because I've opened it. I had I to just, replace the they don't trackpad talk to me, and the battery. Boy, do I hear them. <laughs> I hear a lot of shit coming out of this computer, but it's usually just sexy moans. I hear lots of things you know all I mean? the time, and I wish they were sexy moans. They're just disgusted moans. Oh, <laughs> most of the time. Is it because it's coming out of your mouth? Yeah. When Is it because catch... someone's coming in your mouth? No, it's because I catch. Oh. A... No, it's because I catch a quick side glance of myself wet jerking in the bathroom mirror, and I'm like, oh, shouldn't have mirrors. That day after the the night that we were just recapping, mm. I for, somehow managed to not look in a mirror for most of the day, and then I startled myself when I did. Not because I looked bad. I actually looked really good. You ever drink a bunch, and you look skinnier and better yeah. all the time? And yeah. I'm like, maybe I should just constantly drink. Is I had this a, what alcohol is I had was? that picture taken to me earlier this week with a wig on, and I was like, damn, my face looks good in this. Yeah. How come I can't look this good in every photo? I feel like I normally look dumpy, but if I have like a real long day of drinking, I wake up, my hair looks great, my <laughs> face looks sunken in, in the best the way. Dapper Dad's beauty regimen: go out and drink in the drink sun all day. Physically can. No water. Drink as much I alcohol. Touch on some water. You, you touch. You mean you touch it to your lips? I would. And, <laughs> and then keep going. I was out in the rain, idiot. I was yeah, full I was of water in there. My, I couldn't even wear my hat. The I next felt day. so, so wild just being all wet in the rain. Just Imagine whipping if you would have been around. naked. Oh, I wanted to. I whipped my hair back, back and, and forth. forth. I whipped my, my hair back, back and forth. forth. We don't talk about that enough anymore. Because yeah, when did that song come out? I don't know. 2011 when Bangers didn't exist. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly. We still aren't sure. We're not sure. We, 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 have, we have never talked about it. So, yeah. I mean, there's so many bangers in 2011. Maru? Like Maru. <laughs> <laughs> If you have it, if you're new to the podcast, you're not listening anymore. No, so I'm not even going to address it. Traditionally, statistics show people give up about 45 minutes in. Traditionally, we have only women listeners. Sixty percent. Yeah. Um. 
when we were uh, gallivanting, <laughs> when we were gallivanting on the Patreon episode that's out now for five dollars a month, um, it w- it had to do with shit, we'll say, and a Reddit thread that we can't find. Spoiler alert. And then I found this, and I thought it was a nice question. You get a check for five hundred dollars in the mail every time you poop, but you always have diarrhea. Do you accept? And how do you capitalize? Yeah, I accept. Yeah, I don't know why, why I wouldn't. Why wouldn't you? It's just yeah. diarrhea. What if it's pretty intense diarrhea? It's five hundred bucks. So I'm if what I if it's if, intense diarrhea and you don't know, it's just gonna hit you, and you have about five minutes. To, okay, I shit every day. That's five hundred weirdo. I shit several times You're a day. Shit once a week. I shit several times a day. So diarrhea two or three times a day. Fifteen hundred dollars just to <laughs> shit. Okay, yeah. Let me just be a dummy and not take that money. But it's it's explosive, and you have it. You just feel it, and you got five minutes tops. To is get what it, it is. What if you're done? What if we're driving to Minnesota? Looks blasted on the side of the highway. Yeah, put my butt out the window and blasting while we're driving. Not we can't waste car. precious seconds on the way. Not in my car. Why? Freaking time, why baby. Cole's, Cole's windows down and he's sleeping. <laughs> that, and Dookie's just smack. <laughs> Even better. Wake up, baby. <laughs> he was windows up and it just smacks the side of the window. I think it's better. Sounds like a mirror him. exploding. He's like, "What'd you do if you were in the back seat taking a snooze and a bunch of diarrhea just splattered on your face? Give up on God." <laughs> Oh, I'm way ahead of you. Yeah. yeah, do you can you even have a good weekend at that no. point? Because first of all, whoever's driving the car is mad. So <laughs> them being mad and, and it's me, me and, and I'm me, a rat. they're you're already mad. Like I couldn't So my fixer personality plus my pleaser lover style makes me feel like I have to do something about the situation and I can't because there's dookie all over the car. Well, if you start to put your ass out of the window. But can I give you two hundred and fifty bucks out of the five hundred for that particular shit yeah profit but you got to pay to get the car clean too okay uh, yeah <laughs> just the outside of it right and and what yeah as long as so most we're of it goes going on... to the car wash <laughs> yeah getting it's real stupid smearing shit <laughs> around my car no, it's, it's fucking not doing we pull up they're like no no more shit we've had so <laughs> much shit driving our... in <laughs> yeah, going we're gonna, to... what are we doing going to a, a car wash where the people sign, you sign up and you're like i think i'd like the oh, premium package <laughs> sir what is all over your car i just got it i just saw it i, I just, think my buddy was I just, drunk i just bought it hey why is that little man puking and screaming and crying he yeah, d- always something. does that. That's he just loves the sod. That's him. When Man is a gardener. That's him when he's happy. Yeah, you, you don't want to see him when he's, he's upset. <laughs> yeah, you need to get us through here before he gets upset and thinks his heart isn't working. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like yeah, I would just go to th- that one one at a gas station, just bang, and I just, just picture those big pressures just smearing <laughs> shit everywhere. No, it, it cleans my car perfectly, and then the, the next car, car behind it <laughs> just, just shit, shit all over the brushes. Hey, hey you. Guys. It's, They're just following. It's the bouncer. He's driving after us all the way to Minneapolis. Yeah, no, which is like, oh, that car. It's like Detroit just Rock right City where they throw ass. the piece of pizza out the car. Window. Yeah, exactly. It's just like that movie that my dad wouldn't let me watch because they pick up the hitchhiker. He'd let me watch Your it. father wouldn't let you He'd watch let Detroit watch Rock it. City. He'd let me watch it. Watched it a lot. Except the scene when they pick up the hitchhiker girl. And she gets in the back seat, and the guy says, like, so are you going to suck our dicks or what? That's the only thing. And he made it, you know, like when your parents are like, you cannot. It makes you want to watch it so much more. Yeah. So then you're like, all right, as soon as you fall asleep, <laughs> I'm, I'm going go. straight to that part on a VCR and fast forward in for at least 20 minutes. And watch all the movie really fast and, and then, remember it. And then, yeah, I watched it, and I remember it as like a kid being like, the fuck i could see th- he'd also do the shit with eminem i feel like i've told this story he'd play eminem very loudly which mm-hmm. is triggering in itself yeah and there's whatever the eminem song is where he's like come on her tits and some on her lips or something like that come on her yeah t- whatever that little stupid very technical rhyme scheme that's one of the best uh, you know songs shut ever. The fuck, yeah. and he would yeah play it super loud and then he'd run in the room and turn it all the way down just for that part and then turn it back up and so i'm like i'm gonna find out exactly what what he's said. saying and then you find out and you're like okay okay whatever i don't even know what that means as a child i think i know a, i like it but i don't know what it is i think it's a parent thing though because like you, you don't want to think about your kid thinking about blowjobs and shit like yeah but he play know? like fucking motley crew songs and oh, songs i'm not saying he's correct like in any way in shape or form yeah. i'm saying that i could somewhat I mean, understand i remember going to see the matrix reloaded in theaters with my mom and, and when he leans back and all that cum hits him in the face, yeah, my mom was when, like, whoa. My mom was like, 
like, whoa, whoa. this is beautiful. And she parted her fingers yeah. like this, and I She's was like, like, this is nice. I no, love it was like, piano did, did you, have you calm. seen the Matrix movies? No. <laughs> okay, there's a I scene. I get the gist. No, there's a scene in the second one where like there's this big dance party going on underground. And everyone's laying in backwards. That's the only yeah. reference I have. There and there's pills involved. Lots of pills. Uh, but then Keanu Reeves is banging sure Carrie and Moss. A rave? Positive, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> for sure I've been to raves. I know what happens. Um, but it, they're having sex, and it's intercut between people dancing. And Love those. Yeah, because yeah. you can so, only show like five thrusts in a movie. Yeah, and so that's where that's where they got their five thrusts in, and you mm-hmm. and like you couldn't even see. It's a PG thirteen movie, so yeah. it's like you know you're not no see, cock and balls, no cock and balls, no tits, no, no anything, penetration, just naked people anal. laying on top of each other, no <laughs> no, no raw anal, no, no pulling on mouth <laughs> like this and just coming in it, which is yeah. what I was begging for Keanu Reeves to do the whole time. Come like, be a way different. Movie. I, what was I was if like, this 12? is a simulation i'm ready to this is a simulation i'm living in it <laughs> maybe uh that's what i'm gonna Kyo, say Kyo, Kyo, Kyo no. comes on you. that's what i'm gonna say about life from now on if this is a simulation i'm living in <laughs> it baby <laughs> boo this man <laughs> who's pointing out the simulation fuck him yeah like in in the matrix when he's like leaning back and the bolts are coming and he's like i'll have what she's he's having, having. <laughs> <laughs> and some woman gets shot and, agents, and the bad guy's like boo and just shoots him more but no my mom my, she, my mom took me and my sister and she's sitting in between us during the movie and so it kept, kept coming up and so i'm seeing like a third of a second of a butt and then i get a hand in front of my face and then it goes back to the dancing and then hands in front of my face and i'm I, same thing i'm like i'm just gonna you're gonna buy this yeah. on dvd at sam's club later i'm gonna go i'm gonna, out of my I'm gonna watch it yeah but this is what i don't get is she like shielded my face going to see the matrix reloaded but then bought me like the halloween rob zombie version unrated oh yeah and bought me she thought unrated movies meant there was no rating yeah and so i got That's like, an argument i tried to make buying yeah. a dvd at walmart underage and i was like there's, there's no, no rating, rating. On it. and that woman probably went home and killed their family probably <laughs> the uh, sixth kid that night but at two in the morning because like, Sell me this. well because i specifically remember when my mom figured out that that was a problem was because she had bought old school on dvd that's what i was trying to cut. buy on radio was it really yeah. and the lady Small wouldn't world. sell it to me and then i just turned to my sister and she bought it for me well yeah that one's got some boobies yeah i can see them in my head right now yeah the scene where they're going to going to russell blue and then blue dies. yeah blue dies yeah i want to be like well blue. because i because i had no idea and then my mom's like here i got this for you and i was like okay and so i popped it in my dvd player in my room and like the Went menu, sc- to- the menu oh, yeah. was yeah. the girls yeah. with the boobs, and I was like, "Thanks, <laughs> Thanks mom!" And I'm like putting it on, <laughs> and then like, yeah, up. finally, and the menu, you screen, and then and so I'm like watching all the time, and then of course like. Probably months later, my sister was like, I want to watch Old School. And I was like, no, you, no can't. you can't. I'm busy. And, of course, my mom's like, go get that movie and let your sister watch. And she wanted to watch it in the living room. And so I, like, pop it on the big TV. And there's just boozer when my mom's freaking out. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I watch this one all the time. Yeah, you bought it. You me. bought this for me. And then that's when she figured out that unrated means, like, stuff they can't show yeah. in theaters. And so here I am sitting with my massive DVD stack of unrated <laughs> horror movies and early 2000s comedies. And you yeah. could just see whatever made her feel like a good parent <laughs> draining from her face and her eyes my mom was the best at walking in on the sex scene. yeah like there'll be one like I it's, specifically it's like remember. parents know or something yeah well she would just parents just don't in. understand yes shout out will um, no shout out jazzy jeff yeah if he's doing dj right. jazzy jeff. yeah don't get it confused with all the other jazzy, jazzy jeffs that jeff, you may know jazzy comma jeff um, jeffrey jazz himself jeffrey jazzy um, jeffrey jazzarian <laughs> But yeah, like I specifically remember Dawn of the Dead remake, mm-hmm. and uh, the guy fucks the girl in the in the montage where they're having fun in the mall. Yeah, and on like a fucking exercise bike, and it's just beautiful, tasteful, and like literally made my, me want to fuck on an exercise. My bike. My mom walked in at the beginning, which that has one of the best like opening sequences. Like it's very like intense and dark, and all the zombies are coming, and everybody's dying. She's like. Oh, okay. And then she happened to just walk in. And I knew where it was because I had to see it twice in theaters because mm-hmm. it burned on the screen. Because uh, I'm weird. that old. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I've told this. Me and my sister went and it yeah. burned on the screen. Then they skipped way too far forward. And it's where he's throwing the propane at the thing. And it was like when they're leaving the mall. Yeah. And like before they kill, Andy gets killed and all that mm-hmm. shit. And then just to that. And I was like, I think we missed, missed something. something. And then they let it go a little bit more and it happened again. And they were like, we're not going to be able to continue the show. So we'll give you a ticket to come back and see it again. So I had to sit through the whole thing again. 
again. So I knew exactly where those tits were at, of course. You were just counting down on and your then, little Rugrats watch when it was going to happen. Yeah. From the BK Chucky. Happy Meal. Um, no, you got to get the Reptar watch. No, that was too rare. Um, Speak for yourself. you got to have friends in low places. <laughs> yeah, as a child. Yeah. Yeah, let me get my uh, Burger King Connect to pick out the Reptar. Man, I remember when I was a kid, my mom was obsessed with getting collectibles from fast food restaurants. Yeah, she, I think all of our parents She got are. the Shrek cups from McDonald's. She got the light-up Lord of the Rings cups from Burger King. Yeah. And you know what they're worth now? Dipshit. Horseshit. Yeah, Not dipshit. Whores. Dipshit whores. selling. Horseshit. It's plentiful. I still remember I was at my mom's one time, and uh, <laughs> Burger King back in the day had like the gold old pokemon cards oh, yeah. in the balls yep. i just found a box of them oh at my yeah mom's house. Just yeah a shit ton of them my parents when they moved out of like my childhood home they found all this shit and my dad's like will you help me sell it and i'm like it's nothing not is worth, worth it. anything and yeah my because my parents would do the same thing i had the pokeballs the only things i've kept is the little simpsons treehouse of horror well yeah ones. you gotta keep that shit i wish i was around i know there's like some like first line like original x-men movie action figures around my mom's house somewhere but yeah. i'm feel like i'm gonna have to burn it down covered in shit <laughs> yeah you burn your house down there's just little x-men, X-Men figures. figures left i'm like perfect uh let's take a gander at some submissions if we have to i suppose so uh the first one i'm gonna address this person <laughs> specifically <laughs> okay because they have um some knowledge that i'm not gonna disclose on the podcast we've been over this um a, a musical endeavor in my past that they keep submitting okay um, do we know who it is i don't know it comes from hank and that's king at the hill.com which i appreciate this says do not ignore me drama um which i'm i'm bold uh yeah this is like the second time they've done it um yeah i just don't do it anymore they want to know what happened to it it's just i don't it's just i not just don't a, do it you yeah. grow out of things, well, things people change. yeah it's all the people all the people that i did the thing with you know they, they just don't we just don't do it anymore i grew up okay i get I that. moved on to bigger and better things i stopped talking about my dick in musical form and i just talk about it without the sound so yeah. there's nothing else guarding me i can freely just speak about my penis i'm really glad you can be yourself it. Thank you. And that's all because of Slim. Slim killed everyone I used to make music with, so I had to Hey, hey, it hasn't been seven years yet. So there's the answer. Yeah, I don't know what more you want. We're not gonna we're not gonna mix creativity. We're not gonna here. mix mediums you know I mean? on here. I have music that I've made. I have music that I make sometimes by myself. We have music that we don't make. I have this I have and then mu- I have, we have my music that we want to make. nude body painting rolling around on giant canvases. I'm not gonna mesh those three things together. As you shouldn't. But when I was in Wisconsin recently um i turned on the tv very confusing tv i watched first off a random friday the 13th in my isolated area i was really get you know what bad I mean? idea you know when you're like worst I'm idea in a creepy little place let me spike this up a hundred notches um and then when i came in it was on whatever paid channel that was and it was like you remember real sex like that show oh, hbo's real sex yeah yeah it was something like that it wasn't that and you got to have your remote set to like nickelodeon yeah and Disney Channel when your parents get yeah. up oh mm-hmm. yeah um it was something along those lines but a newer version and it had like three different segments and i only got through one and that's what it was is this person has like they lay those giant canvases on the ground and you get naked you cover your body in paint yep and you roll around yeah and basically have sex and i was like oh this is interesting and i wasn't aware i thought i was watching friday the 13th on mm-hmm. just like tbs or something so then like these people get naked and this lady had some big low hanging boobies and this guy had like a weird dick and I, you know like when you're just watching tv and then there's just fully uncensored nudity and you're like whoa who told you you could do this and then they yeah paint themselves and then they're just basically fucking and like it was very sensual and i was mm. just watching and i was like this is beautiful and i don't know what i'm doing right now with my life um so it's out there and yeah if you want to uh if you want to roll around on a canvas with us we won't do it but we'll watch you do we'll it. watch you do it as long as you're I mean, you can be a man or a woman as long as you're pretty. Oh, yeah. I want to see. I think men have the upper hand because you can make some serious dick prints. Yeah. You know what I mean? But do you want to get paint all over your dick? Do you want to risk getting paint in your pee hole? I mean, this guy went all all in. I mean, good for him. I mean. What if there's like a special... I'm sure there's a certain type of paint. I was I mean, gonna, I was gonna paint. say a small insert you could put into the head of your penis to block <laughs> things from going into <laughs> it. But I guess we're a just little, two different people. A little dick plug, huh? Um, that's what they called me in high school <laughs> that's what they still call you yeah next one comes from george 
Are you ready? This is pretty targeted at you. Maybe more targeted than the one that I won't even speak about. Yeah, I was going to say it sounds about right <clears throat> if it's coming from George. The email is slimsfeet at dapperfapper.com. I don't like this. The title is Slim's Feet. <laughs> Worried. <laughs> All right. Slim, you know I love you, man. Did you know that? Yeah. I love George, too. He's a good guy. All right. You guys have your own fucking podcast, then. Why am I even here? You want if us to go have our own podcast? In. Is this how you want to be? This is like if you're in a relationship and you're just oogling and talking to a girl at the bar you know like what right this is the, you me. know what this if is the problem with friends, you this is you the problem with you her, is you don't let right me front be me? myself how much right do i give for this relationship not enough not clearly. enough i feel like i'm giving everything and suddenly you somebody call, just comes you is this how it's inst- and you don't answer this is my the problem with you, you being in our 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 bar you know what this is the problem you're too damn insecure you're always pushing your insecurities on me and you're making this about everyone else when really the issue is here with you and me the issue is talk to me like me. I'm a person because you just want to rub it in talk my face. Talk to me like the man you what fell you in love do with. Private life. That man's been dead for years. And you know that. And I hate when you say that. Don't say that to me. Slim, you know, I love you, man. Why don't you guys get a fucking room? I'll have what he's having. <laughs> boo. Boo. <laughs> boo. <laughs> it was a boo. And now it's a boo hoo. Uh, but I got to side with drama on the feet thing. Dude, put some shoes on. <laughs> Well, bad time for this to come up. I'm like, woo, bad time for this to come up. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your massive fucking clod hoppers. I like that you're watching the video because we yeah, traditionally like, score well, very yeah, low. You, know, yeah. you guys have said that the YouTube viewer numbers aren't as high as you would like. Is it any wonder why that is when every time we tune in, we're bombarded with your hideous tree climber? For the love of God, man, I've only been wearing slides this summer. It's not like I wasn't wearing shoes on the show before. Ain't nobody trying to see that shit. I don't get what's that wrong with my feet. I, agree. I mean, people just don't like feet. They I don't like feet. I'm not going to say I like feet. Just be waving them around. Well, I mean, what do you want a tight zoom on just our heads? Yeah. Actually, so anytime we lean, we're out of a frame. super 4K close up on her faces, so I can really see how ugly hey, guys, I am. If you guys go to www, so see how beautiful you are, how hideous I am. <laughs> guys, constantly. go to patreon.com slash dapper dads. Start pledging the money. One day, maybe we'll do a Joe Rogan thing where we have the cameras like switch. Oh, that would back be and forth. nice. I looked into one of those switches. So much money. Yeah, so much money. Much money. And then we have to have people. real cameras. 50 Which, bucks yeah, let a us month. get a real camera so the video stops fucking up. Uh, anywho, in light of recent of the recent stats episode, specifically the number of comes per month, I think you guys should rename the show The Fapper Dads, or at least have Slim change his name to The Dapper Fapper. You wouldn't even have to change the phone number since the F is in the same number key as the D. Speaking of the D, insert whatever joke you want here because I'm not smart enough to come up with one right now. I will go ahead and say I will take Fast Finger Slim, a.k.a. the Dapper Fapper. I mean, you've earned it. I'll take it. At, thank you. Hey, George, how you're just going to submit that and not tell us what what the juxtaposition of your comes is? Clearly, it's Yeah, that's fucked up. Because mine wasn't even that high. No, yours seems like once every 3.3 days. That's wild to me. I can't imagine a day without getting a loadout. I got to get a loadout every a day. Time, There's been times where I don't get if I don't get a loadout during the day, I will it will be one of the first things I do the next day. Yeah, see, I just lose it. See, I, I don't. Most of the time when I masturbate, I'm reminded that I can do it. <laughs> Wait. It's just like something will pop up on Twitter, like some boobs, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll just take care of this. I don't feel like it's very rare. It usually takes me like a full week before I'm like, I got to do something about this. No, I, mean, I got to do something about it like every day. Yeah, I don't have that. Weird. But I'm old and washed. Am I weird? Yeah, I think you're doing it too much. I think something in between us might be more normal well i think I, mine is probably pretty that's I what feel i feel like we yours need is outside, normal we need an outside consultant yeah because that month was high i had some shit going see, on that's crazy that to me that that month me. was high for you i pretty much i'm like a weekend guy because that was I just, just like a time. that was just like a standard month for me yeah i don't have like that, i wasn't I trying to time. like cook the numbers or anything i'm not like <laughs> come on just one more like I mean, I, you didn't have to cook them that high, i was yeah. gonna say I, I, if i was gonna cook them i didn't have to do it like that i just don't have time and like half i've realized half of my week like monday through wednesday i just hate everything and i'm not really interested in anything i'm also that way during the week yeah. but then masturbation makes me feel better see masturbation makes me feel good in the moment and then really bad after yeah but at least start. i get that crumb of serotonin yeah i don't think nothing else i mean outside of sex i don't think anything else really makes me happy mm, i think that's a problem i think it is too okay but i'm not gonna well, George, do anything tell about us how many it. times you fucking come yeah asshole. why don't you do your own stats buddy yeah, I mean, clearly he he knows. So let us in, let us into your comms. I'm just um, George, you're just gonna start getting pictures of my feet now, just for being a dickweight. You're gonna get pictures of my comms. You're gonna get pictures of drama's comms on I'm my feet. Yeah, there it is. 
Um, there was something else I was going to bring up, but I can't remember because my brain is shot from all the years of chronic alcoholism and occasional substance abuse. What good is life without a little fun? Anyway, stay dapper, except for Slim's feet. Fuck Slim's feet. And I don't mean literally, like one of those fleshlight foot things. George. Thank you. You really brought it all around. Um, I agree. Slim's feet are horrendous. And we're Fine, gonna... I'll start wearing shoes, but only for the show. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's getting cold. That was I'm... my saving grace. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm going to... Yeah, on. maybe in like a week or two, I'm going to retire the slides for the year, you know? Good. I mean, just wear socks and slides. That's the, that's the fashion. <sighs> I prefer yeah. socks and slides. Then wear that. No one would be upset with you. Second one comes from George. That's Slim's feet at dapperfapper.com. The title is Slim's fucking feet. All right, that seems redundant, but here we go. Uh, no, it's actually Facebook dating. Hey, fuckers, I remember the other thing I was going to talk about in my last submission. With the rollout of Facebook's new dating bullshit dating feature, I think you guys should create the most ridiculous, absurd, off-the-wall profile you can come up with, put it on the Facebook dating thing, and see what kind of hilarity ensues just a thought. I'm not for that. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. A Facebook dating app? Yeah, have you heard of this? Mm-mm. Let me pop a quick Google. I mean, I'm I've I've entertained the idea that we could make a Dapper Dad's Tinder account and just kind of. I fuck was around yeah, with that. gonna do this just as because like that's a fun promotion thing for the show, you know. Put like nine profile <laughs> pictures up, a profile about the show and everything, because then people are right swiping the Dapper Dads. I mean, yeah, and then we tell them like we're a podcast. We're uh, podcast. We don't have sex to offer, just a podcast. <laughs> it's official. Facebook dating is here. Um, yeah, it's like a it's a whole thing. All right. Uh, is it like groups, like singles groups or see. something? This is from Facebook. Today we're launching Facebook dating in the U.S. We're also giving people the ability to integrate their Instagram posts directly into their Facebook dating profile and giving people the ability to add Instagram followers to their secret crush list. I like that a lot. But she a lives in California, so how list? the hell would that even work? Yeah. And she seems even, too happy. I don't even she could remember. never fall for me. She's so happy She's and content so... with her life. Idiot. I I'm just... right here, ready to bring you down a I'm, peg. I'm here to Seven ruin pegs. I'm here to ruin pegs. your life. Pegs. And you're just not gonna let me. What um, is it with you in the pegging? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll peg everybody. By the end of the year, we'll make it he possible it. to add Facebook and Instagram stories. Yeah, there's too much integration. What is it? Like Find how it works. Starting today, you can choose to opt into Facebook dating and create a dating profile separate from your main profile. If you're 18 years or older and have downloaded the most recent version of Facebook, you'll be suggested to others who have also opted in. People are suggested based on your preferences, interests, and other things you do on Facebook. Facebook dating isn't about swiping or having to wait for someone to like you to get the first chance at reaching out. If you're interested in someone, you can comment directly on their profile or tap on the like button to let them know. If you aren't interested, you can pass on them. Facebook dating allows you to match with friends of friends and or people not in your friend circle. Facebook dating won't match you with friends unless you choose to use the secret crush and you both add each other to your list. All of your dating activity will stay in Facebook dating and will not be shared with the rest of Facebook. Interesting and totally mm-hmm. unnecessary, I'd say. Um, yeah, there's a lot of, they're really leaning in the secret crush thing. That would be that would be like a, a romantic moment. That girl that you've always wanted to fuck, and you add her secret crush, and then she adds you to it too, and you're like, oh shit. And then she's like, sorry, I met your stupid friend, and I'm like, yeah, me too. It's just me picking my nose. <laughs> One tear, like I'll have what she was supposed to be having. <laughs> the whole your computer oh, just hurts. <laughs> Holy shit! Turns out you can't make fun references anywhere these days. Death of free speech. Yeah, if you're asking me, a white man, I think we're not allowed to say what we need to be. If you're able asking to say. me, a white man, I have lots of opinions <laughs> that I think people should listen to because I'm clearly right. So yeah, I think that's pretty much the rundown. Um, what would you even put? I don't know if we're gonna do this necessarily. I gotta see how this works. What out. if like we did a profile? What's just the most? Are we are we are we going to be a man or a woman? How oh. how catfishing are we going to do this? And can we do it to the level where we are on catfish? You know what? Imagine us promoting uh, the brand on catfish. Neve or whatever pulls up with his stupid wife or whoever the hell's on it now. I hate that show. Yeah, no, it's fucked and up then now. They it's like that moment that reveal, and we're like, and it's just say, us. Say we're one handsome man, and we come out together. Dapper Dad's hat, Dapper Dad's shirt, sure, Dapper, Dapper Dad's, Dad's pants, socks, Dapper Dad's socks. underwear. Because I can't figure out the shorts yet. And we're just like playing the podcast off of our phones. No, the door opens. Beep. Yeah. 
we walk out and we're like, yeah, I bet you didn't expect this. Famous podcast host, s- Slim and Drama. I fuck it up, of course, because I'm very nervous. <laughs> Slim, a.k.a. the Dapper Trapper. Because we've Papper. been fully prepped because we're about to be on and camera and there's a camera inside, inside of house. our house. So it's so yeah. random that this happened. I just, no, you know what? I think we, you, I wasn't enter- entertaining the idea. I was just going to use it as a social marketing tool mm. just to get people to, aware of the show. But if it gets us on TV, I will totally pretend to I be mean, a hot one. I would love to get that call from catfish man and they're catfish man that's just instead of scam Nef, likely it says catfish man i don't yeah i'm like, oh, I'm like is this the show catfish or a food delivery service you gotta be more specific either way i'm interested i don't know how to say his name also i yawned and my ear popped and you are so loud in my headphones that i, I wish so you were sorry here. <laughs> wow that is a bold we're both loud. i can just leave do you want me to leave i mean we only got a couple minutes left how long is a couple because i can just leave uh 45 <laughs> holy shit i would say i'm we're t- doing another thing i'm, after, I'm used to letting people down we're early. doing uh Dabber Dads After Dark, where we talk about all the things we can't afford. <laughs> Which would be <laughs> wild. Yeah, that one's uh, going to be a doozy. That's going to be a short-lived podcast. Yeah, that that's the, yeah when but, we're in prison for seven years. Uh, that's a long time. It is a long time. Um, so, yeah, let's say you we're... You look genuinely concerned for a second. Every like, time, you'll go to prison, but not for seven years. Well, every time someone's like, this person was in prison for this amount of time, I try to figure out in my head why. I feel like yeah. I know a lot of things like i'm watching love after lockup and they're like he did six years in prison and i'm like that's a crazy amount of time and then they never explain it and i'm like you six years in prison is like a d you know what i mean you had to do a decent thing (laughs) i'm just just thinking about time i'm thinking about time in prison (laughs) yeah because like you might do like like what do you six years i feel like is a pretty well because i just read the day that uh six nines manager just got 15 years for his involvement with whatever the fuck they were doing that's what i mean so like 15 years yeah that's what i mean six years is like a weird amount of time and then i'm always like is it six like what did you get eight years six served well, like what was it what did you do i think the guy was in a fight because it's like alluded to and i try to google it because i'm like six years for a fucking fight because that's my, ridiculous one of my big and it's like in, you i feel like Canada, you had a, i feel too. like uh, i feel like that changes but things, i feel like so. they're more lenient because i watched the watch deer so Zachary. how bad do you got to beat the fuck out of somebody where you get well, six what, years in prison one of you my, gotta like paralyze them one of my biggest fears is getting when you hear those stories where someone gets in a bar fight and they like punch someone and they knock them out and that person like hits their head and dies or he's yeah. in a coma or something like that scares the shit out of me yeah so luckily we're in a stand your ground state so they just got to come at me but like you <laughs> okay, hear that the baby there's like a lot of stories like that and that's like my because i feel like that's something that could happen to me i'm drunk someone starts yelling at me i punch you, them you, they yeah. die because i punched them so good that they just die and they god knows you you have that drunk energy yeah, that you would see, just... you've seen me punch through walls i've seen you punch some i've seen you explace display some <laughs> physical strength sometimes that surprises me yeah i think i do as a lot. very big strong man that surprises people with his strength you surprise me sometimes i have a lot of energy secret energy and strength a secret power. You have a lot of secrets, actually. I have so many secrets None of that them it's are becoming. Good. I'm very They're hot right scary. now. Even being, oh, I'm scared about this. But yeah, apparently the guy. <laughs> I'm very. Oh, it's so. <laughs> can we turn? <laughs> can we turn the air on in here? Yeah, you know how we have it's access so... to the thermometer in this building. Um, oh yeah. Hold on. <laughs> uh, hundred off degrees. screen thermometer. Yeah. <laughs> I hope it's Stay perfectly to the off yard. screen. <laughs> um, no, but I think I read that the guy. It was like a like a brawl in a billiard club. And he beat the man to where he had to be airlifted and put in a medically induced, induced coma, coma for two weeks. Still six <sighs> years, though. I guess. And then I was reading Canada. You know how I just I feel like it's more of a things. situation where you would get sued by the guy for, like, medical bills or something. Yeah, you know, I think you that go definitely to jail happened. for six years. Well, I've heard, I read through looking at, at all this and, like, looking at Canadian law. I think they have a thing that's, like, extreme violence. Like, when you're in a fight and you just go What constitutes crazy. extreme violence? Having to make the man be airlifted and put in a medical. But where's the bottom thing? line? Like, what I mean, is the minimal know. most amount of extreme violence I think, that I can do? I think, like, your average fight. You know what I mean? That's extreme violence? No, I think that's what you're fine with. I think anything, like, when you just, when you see the videos and they just keep kicking the guy in the head after yeah. they're down, like, I hate that. Or they man, hit him with a brick and you're like, that guy's dead. Man, I just saw this video of, like, 15 teenagers pulling up on a guy outside of a hotel, yeah. like, in the drive-up area where people are getting dropped yeah, off. The it's just these, yeah, the baggage <laughs> drop-off. Yeah. It was two guys just the trying guy to... The guy whose name I don't know because we're never at nice places. The concierge. <laughs> yeah, I would have never even said that. I was going to say bellboy. <laughs> Bus hop, bellhop, bellhop, bellhop. Bell. That sounds right. Yeah, the naked guy. Yeah, in front of the hotel guy that gives us foot jobs and takes our luggage. Um, 
God, that's a visual. I was forgot what I was totally gonna say based on all of this. Beating a man, fifteen kids beat a hotel naked. Yeah, naked belt. Well, and pop. I, fifteen deep, something, something like that. I don't that. know what video. Well, I'm watch. watching the video, and it's from like the front camera outside the hotel, and it's like these two dudes just like walk up, like they're walking into the hotel, and this pack of teenagers runs over and just starts beating the man. Yeah. His accomplice or boyfriend or whatever it was just goes into the revolving doors and stays in there while his friend is getting the shit beat up. Smart, smart, yeah, smart, very smart, but cowardly. God, I mean, if I, yeah, if, if this dudes... was you and me, and oh, I, no, I get, yeah. I got the shit beat out of me, and I have to go into a medically induced coma, and I wake I'm up and I see the video, and I find out you've been <laughs> hiding in the revolving door of the hotel the whole time I was getting my if ass beat. If it's me, solo, and fifteen dudes pull up, yeah, I'm getting in that revolving door, and I'm putting my foot real hard against that bitch. You know what I mean? And yeah. then banging on the other window, looking at the the clerk, and he's like, "This isn't in my job title," and I'm like, "Call the police." <laughs> But yeah, that's but no, they're, because well that. because like they were just like hitting the guy and hitting the guy and hitting the guy and then they go to walk away and one of them runs back and just kicks him in that the head as hard as kick he, is, that running and you kick just is, their, yeah like, just their body. limb body yeah, don't just do that because like, I love fight videos like, oh yeah who been does it three different occasions where I've had plans with people and I can't text them to tell them when I'm gonna get there because I watched so many fight videos that my phone died this that used to happen a no. lot to me. And, like, I love a good fight video. My new thing is cars. When people get angry, I've been finding these videos where they'll, like, drive their cars into each other's cars. Like, I saw this one. When they're one. mad? I saw this one. I believe I was trying to get the details, and it was hard to understand, but I believe it was two men who were in a relationship, allegedly, and someone cheated on someone. And they just start driving. Like, the one is gets in his car and tries to hit the guy, so then he just hits the car. And, I mean, it's like a demolition derby. So then that guy gets in his car, and, like, his bumper's hanging his doors off, and then he's driving in that car, and then they're driving in the street just I think I other. saw this, and I'm like, yeah. This is, is it, this like, a is... high-up aerial view of it? No, it's like Because I saw just one just there. like this, And the person this, who's standing to God. just keeps screaming. Like, the more it escalates the higher pitch the scream gets and they're just like completely totaling cars this is like my new like genre of fight videos when we bring this cars is evolved because i watched one and this I is just a demolition derby one. with a fight in between it i know so if someone if you can send me fight videos that involve cars not people like running people over that's crazy i also saw this video where this girl was talking shit and then like this guy tried to hit her and her boyfriend like hit him and then the guy stabbed him in the stomach but i didn't realize what had happened and then this guy just died it was yeah and then it's i hate that when you're like yeah fight 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 and then you're like oh no oh no and you just see blood like when you see how someone gets stabbed and what it looks like and you're like well this changed uh, my day far more i was just trying to movies. watch fight videos and have a good afternoon i was just trying to kill my phone with fight videos at work and yeah. you ruined I've my had, day i've had to stop doing it because people are like yeah i couldn't get a hold of you and i'm like yeah i watched so I watched fight videos yeah. for three hours in a chair, and then I didn't have a charger. I sorry. Last time I took last time I took acid by myself, I just watched food challenge videos until my phone died, and then I plugged my phone in and stayed up <laughs> yeah. till six a.m. Yes. watching food yeah. challenge videos. So anyway, back to the submission. So if we're gonna let's say we're gonna do one profile as a man, what mm. are the things you could put on the profile that would be like not so ridiculous that yeah. people would be like this is obviously fake but would make people be like oh my god like this is a gross man that no one should be dating um i feel like slightly you should... misogynistic yeah but was not gonna, directly that was gonna be my first thing. i expect a clean home and a hot meal yeah. when i come home but not saying directly that the woman you has gotta to do it you gotta lead with um I'm not the guy that all the girls go for. I'll treat you right. Because guys are oh, always... so are we taking I mean? like a beta male thing? Beta yeah. male angle Not with like it? so hard, but like that definitely is a, like a part. Like I'm not like, your... I'm not the... Av I won't treat you like an asshole like women seem to love. Just like that statement. I'm an asshole, but I won't be an... I'm not going to be your average asshole to you. No, I feel like... I'll treat you right on like the assholes women always love to go for. So <laughs> like we're going to make a profile for the five foot tall yeah, man. Essentially. But uh, basically make his profile, but put some really handsome beefcake pictures for the cover. Well, I feel like that's already going too hard. You got to be subtle, but like a hand, I'd, I'd eight out of 10 at least. Yeah. But you got to, I mean, even handsome, with, like, but room for improvement, even like with what you're writing, that's what I want to find. Like the perfect, like what are things we'll, that are we'll, very we'll have to, we'll have to work. <laughs> There's going to be notebooks filled with, <laughs> yeah. of us trying to get the perfect. And then we look and we're just writing everything that the other person exhibits. <laughs> Is this how we fall in love? <laughs> I'm like, uh, be too tall and too nice. But uh, <laughs> too handsome. And then it's just drawings of you. Yeah, I was gonna actually go with things I don't like about you, but then I didn't. And want then to it ruin slowly the end of the turns show. into nice things. 
but yeah, I want too nice and far too handsome. He's <laughs> yeah. just so generous all the time. And that's with... the first page, and then you flip through the other ninety nine college ruled pages, and they're just like all the things that you think about yourself. Against... Oh, that would I would kill <laughs> yeah, myself. I, mean. I, I would gonna, kill I was myself. Gonna say one, but then oh, I was my... like, no, this say will ruin the say it. Just say it. No, I don't even remember. Anyway, I don't even remember what shit. one that, I was gonna bullshit. say. There's so many. Say top three, three quick ones, three quick ones. Say them. Say them. Say them. Say them. Say them. Say it. What can we make on a profile? Say it, and then I'll tell <laughs> you. It. No, then we'll just end it. <laughs> Let's. We got to think it up, and then do we do this? Yeah, of course we do it. And then we have to do it. We've said we're going to do it, so now we have to do it. I feel like I feel like we're going to make a mockery of it. Like, well, I okay. shit my pants every day. Like things, no, that's what I mean. We got to find mean, things. We can What's like... something like very off-putting that people don't realize? Because you can go like real asshole, like just pictures of cars and money and be like, I love the material things in life. But I want something, something gross that people will be like, why would he even put that out there? That he's, or a picture. We could make it a picture. Like a, like a, like a selfie in a bathroom mirror and a turd Duck in the toilet. Or Donald Duck in it. I think that's too much. See, I don't think I mean. that's too much. Donald Duck. <laughs> yeah. Showing your, your. Penis? Like it's, it's 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 I'm going from the angle of like an older man using a dating app like put because you know how older dudes are. I, I want to just internet. get on it to see who's on the Facebook. Because uh, first of like all, hot twenty somethings aren't on the aren't Facebook, on Facebook dating. But they're on Tinder. They're on Bumble. Yeah. They're on Grinder yeah. with me. Yeah, they they keep swiping right to, on us on Grinder. I don't know how Grinder works, but I'll find out. No, you'll find I'll out. I'll take a weekend. Right. <laughs> oh, this is just research. Yeah, when they, they show up to fuck yeah, me. Take a oh, this was just research. Take a weekend off and find yourself. You got to I didn't go to college. I never had time to experiment. Me either, Maybe I'm actually. Full blown gay. I think a lot of times <laughs> Maybe I'm full blown gay. No, you'll you'll know. You'll know if you're full blown. But I blown need gay. something to point me in the right direction. Well, I Maybe mean, I get what are you doing dick after this? In front of me and I'm just like, "Wow, it all makes sense. That's a great looking penis." And I just gobble it. I put it in me and around me. I hang out with it. I'm just like super pumped about it. Not you. I want to have sex with you. I need a beefier cake. <laughs> You've got the cake, but you're missing the beef. What if I get vegan. beefier? You can't get beefy. What if I start me. eating beef again? I only like, yeah, if you eat meat, I'll have sex with you. Uh, <laughs> if what you throw a it all away. <laughs> throw the last Ethical two. vegan won't <laughs> fuck me. <laughs> because ethical <laughs> vegan won't fuck me because I demand to eat a pound of cooked beef out of his mouth. Cooked. You got to come in raw, baby. Aww, you got to cook it in my mouth. You got to get raw to get raw. You know what I mean? If I'm getting raw dogged, I'm bringing the raw beef. You know what I'm saying? I was going to let you fuck me. But yeah, if you want to eat raw beef and then I so get wait, to fuck I'm you, fuck it's you. win-win. <laughs> I like how you don't want to fuck me. <laughs> Am I supposed to want to fuck you? I would assume so. I mean, I would, but like. No, I don't want that. I Why mean, don't you go fuck George? You know what? You're, you're not my. F what, am I your first pick to fuck a dude? No, I'm then saying. Then you're not mine. No, I'm saying you think traditionally that you would want to do the fucking. You're like well, on, yeah, traditionally. You're on board to eat raw beef and then let me have raw sex with you. I thought you would at least, if you're eating the raw beef, do the fucking. I was trying to make it a more even. Trade, I'm used to just getting already... shit on in this friendship, okay. so I figured I would I just mean, have I'm... to eat the meat and I'm... get fucked. That's fine. It's got to be at the same time. And you well, got to look. I, I want to just pull really... your mouth and feel the beef inside and like pull your head back further you know what i mean where you're like I, my head can't turn like this but i'm like oh it's gonna tonight i just had like you're a gonna i just feel like i had just a wet dream that taste of beef in my mouth when you said that like the like the There's smell two kinds of beef. like i smelled raw hamburger when you were talking about it and i'm just picturing your disgusting yeah. fingers you're touching the Why meat does everyone my mouth? think my fingers are gross did you lick my fingers last weekend because <laughs> we were saying my fingers are salty and i think someone no i lick cole's finger okay what he is... sucked on my finger though it was you guys he, gotta stop he was like he was, so weird he was like i don't want anyone to see this put his hands up like, that's probably why i didn't see and it. then i put my finger and he just goes <laughs> like really oh just God. i miss service, all the weird things you service guys do. it like oh you want to stop talk? doing it do it when we're in like weird places you do them in the most normal what's a weird place that we go to uh, the boathouse show or like a, a dark dingy bar where everybody's doing things in the corner you know you what? guys are like it's middle of the day let's it's middle things. of the day and there's a wedding happening there a quinceanera <laughs> happening there and a church service happening over there you want to suck on my yeah. fingers and Very see how salty they are Saturday. yeah <laughs> we're just drinking beers in the park oh i didn't realize there was going to be a wedding quinceanera and church service here 
all on a Sunday? All right, we all split up. One of us stays here so we don't lose our spot. All right. That funeral's trying I'll to get in here. I'll talk on my fingers. <laughs> yeah. I'm at the wedding. Cole's at the quinceanera. Matt's at the church service. We all come oh, back different. Sad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't go to church. No, I can't Love go wedding. into a quinceanera. Cole's little enough to go to a quinceanera. Yeah. Well, you can, anybody can go to a quinceanera. I don't want to be involved in that. I don't, I don't either. You can't go to a small My favorite quinceanera. Small female's My party. favorite quinceanera memory is being at a wedding and there was a quinceanera going on next door and they had a much better and louder DJ than we had. Yeah. You always stumble into a quinceanera. I would say you could stumble in. Huh? You could stumble into a quinceanera. I do. It eventually <laughs> just like, turns into a big party where all the adults it's your are drinking neighbor, and dancing sometimes anyway. It's, I've also had a wedding where there was a quinceanera and I walked in the wrong room. I'm like, I'll pop a tamale or two. And just then I'm holding up a take, chair. Take a I don't nice know what plate quinceanera is. <laughs> That's a Jewish wedding. <laughs> no, they stamp, they stamp on glass. But then they also put them in the chairs and hike them up. I want to be on a chair at something. I find it we can put you disrespectful on a chair that wedding. I haven't been lifted in a chair. Do you think the three of us could lift you in a chair? Yeah, I would hope so. Are you, God, you won't fuck me? I'm fat. I'm learning a lot about well, this you won't say the three awful things about me, so this is the rabbit hole okay. we have to go down. You won't fuck me. You won't lift me up in a chair, and you didn't proper me, properly lift me up on, on your shoulders. And a fourth bonus, you didn't suck my allegedly salty fingers. <laughs> They're not that salty. I forgot how that salty finger thing even started. I don't remember either, but people say my fingers are salty, and I Where think they're normal. He, was it at the restaurant he sucked my finger? No, I think this was in public on the street. That's on. No, it's when, we were, it's when we were sitting uh, at the little tavern outside at the table. Hmm. I don't even remember. Right, oh, okay. Right in front of the... Then I feel like it came up again later, <laughs> and someone else sucked a finger. I don't... I don't I'll, I'll, I'll admit <laughs> to the first one. Too I don't many know about little the second shots one. I got to suck in all the fingers. A couple that's why things that cop, after a couple that's little shots. That's why that cop tried to kick you guys out, because you tried to suck that cop's finger. Maybe if his fingers weren't covered in delicious spicy pepper spray, I wouldn't have had to do that. <laughs> Yeah, he thought you were going for his gun. No, I'm not reaching for your gun. I'm trying to suck your hand. 